I'm almost sick and tired of making videos about this entire Chris Tyson situation, but it just seems that every single day, more and more stuff comes out about it, that it's almost like I just, it's, it's like I can't, I can't not make videos about it, because it just keeps on getting worse and worse, at this point, I'm gonna have to start, like, putting images on, on my thumbnails of Chris before, like, they transitioned into being a female, because that's how many videos I've made about Chris Tyson, and this whole entire situation, because every single day, more and more stuff comes out, and today, we have gotten more Discord message leaks, and not only is these Discord message leaks bad because of the, the context that he said and a lot of the things that are said in these Discord messages, but also because these Discord messages involve Mr. Beast. And it, it just goes to show that his initial response to all this kind of seems a little bit hypocritical as well. Now, we're going to get into these Discord messages. Now, I'm not going to sit here and read out these entire Discord messages because I feel like if I did, um, I would be here for a long time. And, you know, a lot of these words are very, you know, explicit words. So I'm just probably going to be showing them on the screen right now. I am obviously going to have to be blurring out a lot of these words, but feel free to pause them and read through them yourself. I am just kind of going to go over the general, like, what these Discord messages are and why I think that these are extremely problematic. I mean, if you read through them, you can already see why these, um, you know, Discord messages would be are already problematic, but I'm going to explain why they are a lot more problematic than you originally think. Now, in these Discord messages, to kind of summarize what they are, is that a lot of these is pretty much that they are talking about Chris Tyson's junk size. That's right. In these Discord messages, they are constantly talking about how big Chris Tyson's junk is. And you might think this as like, oh, this might, Donnie, this might not be that problematic. I mean, if these are private messages, that's not problematic. I mean, if you're t messaging with mates, that just seems like something that's, you know, normal. I mean, between the boys, you know, you message stupid stuff all the time. I mean, if you had to pull out, you know, the group chat of me and my, and my close mates, you would be like, what the hell is being written here? But this is in a public Discord with minors. That's right. That's what Discord server this is from. They are openly talking about Chris Tyson's junk size and having other people comment on how big it is with minors. Now, the other, uh, there's, a, we're not sure about every single person's age in this Discord server, but we do know that there are a lot of minors in this Discord server, as it has been proven in the past by the person, Nathan, who was originally the guy who um, came out and said that, um, who, who leaked like the original Discord messages. And he also talked about leaking more and he's the ones who did leak these messages as well. And we know that Lava, who is the one who was like first um, behind all, supposedly behind all of it, is that he was the one who was groomed from a young age. I'm not going to sit here and explain it all because if I had to explain the whole entire Chris Tyson situation, I'd be here for an hour. Like, that's how long this thing has gone on for, and that's how many details there is. So, like, go watch my previous videos if you really want to catch up to date with everything. But we do know that a lot of people in this server are minors. I have heard that Hayden and Tags, though, I mean, not Hayden, sorry, Tags and um, Milk, those two are around the same age as um, Chris, so that's not really all that bad. But in terms of, like, that person, Hayden, and, uh, uh, you know, we know how old Lava was during this whole entire situation, and we don't know how old um, any of the other people who were involved in this server as well, but we do know that a lot of these people are minors. And not only was Chris Tyson openly talking about the size of his junk, is that Mr. Beast was also involved in this server, and even he commented on how big Ty Chris Tyson's junk size is. And the thing that makes this hypocritical and problematic is that previously, in Mr. The Beast's response to all this, if you don't know, he came out and stated that he had no knowledge of any of the things that were going on in any type of actions that Chris Tyson had, had in the past and said anything that might have seemed problematic. But I mean, it seems that Mr. Beast has actually known about all this kind of stuff. And not only was Chris talking about his uh, junk size openly in a server involved with minors, which is just extremely inappropriate, something that you don't do. But he was constantly sharing Lollicon. That's right. This Lollicon situation is another one of the main main problematic things that has been going on in this entire Chris Tyson situation as well. Is how Chris Chris himself has supported Lollicon artists, especially Shadmain or Shad Bass, however um, you know him as, who, who is an infamous infamous lolicon artist and is someone who has actually like you know been seen and now in recent times you know a lot of other creators have come out to see that in the past they have also supported shad main as well 
is that he was openly like sharing this type of content in his discord server with some of these eight with some of the people that were depicted in some of this lolicon being in ages around 14 14 and chris making it out like it was not a problem at all saying that like well i think one of the only ones that i can that i should really highlight is this one right here where he shares an attachment which obviously can't be shown but it is lolicon based from um shad man shad man or shad base himself and he says she is only 14 damn and then shares an attachment with miners in the server. This is bad. Like I said, is that like, we already knew how bad all this stuff was. And to be honest, I'm not really surprised by any of this, because the one thing that I always assume when it comes to stuff like this, and this is not always the case, there, there is times where it's not always the case, but whenever you see a little bit of evidence start to come out, like we did at first and like I've covered in previous videos as well, is that when we see a little bit of evidence come out about stuff like this, we always have to assume that there is worse. Because a lot of the times, there is. Not all the time, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not saying all the time, but a lot of the times, whenever we are shown evidence of someone acting in a predatory behavior, we have, you have to know that a lot of the times, there is worse shit that has gone on. And to me, this right here is no exception. Is that even before, when we saw some of the Discord messages and some of the evidence that had already come out about this whole entire Chris Tyson situation, it just seems that it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And it's almost like at this point, how bad is some of the stuff that we don't even know about? Because there's so many people on the internet, so many people who have been formally involved with Mr. Beast, whether they've worked with him or like been a contestant on one of his shows is that so many people have said on tw on like Twitter in the last 24 hours, not even even longer than that, saying that that Mr. Beast isn't the person that we see on camera, and that actually he's a lot more of like a, a, a necessary, a more of like a horrible person behind the scenes, and not just that he's a horrible person, is that apparently he knows about a lot worse shit that has gone on, especially that involves Chris himself. I mean, one of the people that has been outspoken about this is, I can't remember his first name, but he's, oh, Jake the Viking, who got fired from the Mr. Beast crew, and since then has been against Mr. Beast, saying that he's not the person that everyone thinks he is, and Chris Tyson is a horrible person as well. And in the past, I mean, everyone like w would ignore these people. Everyone would shun on these people. I mean, Sunny V's two video that he uploaded a year ago got torn to pieces. Now it's almost just like, damn, all this stuff is actually true. And it's even worse than we are initially led to, to believe as well. And to me, it just seems of like how much worse can all this stuff get? It, it, to me, it actually baffles my brain. It blows my mind of how bad all this stuff really is. But I mean, this isn't video is not going to be that long. Like I said, there's so many Discord messages, and I, I'm just gonna. I'm just here to like summarize all these up and just give my opinion on these. But I would definitely like to hear what you guys have to think about all this down below. Like I said, is that this is all really problematic. It, it, it's terrible. I mean, I feel like Mr. Beast is going to come out and make another statement. You know, previously he said that he didn't know about this, but really, I mean, it seems like he does as he has supposedly made comments, you know, in this Discord server. That was the one that was in question. But that's going to be it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that stuff. Peace out.